Hey, everybody. So what about buying leads for your affiliate marketing business? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, let me tell you, I'm about to share with you why that's actually a bad thing and that's going to break your wallet. That's coming up next. This is Eddie Sand, and I am here to tell you why you shouldn't be buying leads for affiliate marketing business. You should not be doing that. And let me explain why. So right now, everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of online entrepreneurs are getting ready to start investing, start putting money and using their marketing budget for advertising, right? Uh, also, if you are just starting with your affiliate marketing uh, company or business, or you've been struggling and you happen to be hearing other people buying leads, Maybe even you've been seeing those Facebook ads where they say, hey, buy leads and get guaranteed results, increase your sales and all, increase your list and all that stuff, right? Be cautious about that. I'm telling you right here, right now, don't do it. Don't buy leads. Now, let me explain what happened, where this is coming from. So I had a conversation today with an online marketer. And him and his company basically invested money last year for about six months and close to a close to about thousand dollars in six months to buy leads. All right. And out of those leads, all those leads that they got, they had zero return on their investment. It was a waste. OK, so what happened? Right. Like I, I was asking the question, what happened? Why did you guys went and, and did that? Well, they basically fell trap to what's out there, the uh, advertising companies uh, or agencies. And they say, hey, you know, we get you leads, guaranteed leads, uh, so many leads per month, per month. And that's it. That's all they saw. They were desperate to get leads and they went for it. So. I'm here to tell you that I've even made that mistake myself, by the way. Many years ago, I did that. And it's frustrating, really, right? I mean, can you imagine spending close to $1,000 and not getting anything back in return? I mean, that's not cool. So I'm here to give you the warning. Don't fall for that, all right? Especially, again, if you're listening to me, if you are just starting out, do not go fall for buying leads. So here's what you need to understand about that. First of all, when you go and buy leads, what happens is that you're practically playing the lotto. You're hoping that the list that you're getting is what people want to buy from you. Like whatever you're offering, that those, those leads are basically going to say, oh my goodness, I'll definitely buy what you have or I'll join your company or whatever it is that you're selling or doing. You know, that very rarely happens. And the reason for that is because people who are agencies, companies, whoever is basically selling these leads, they don't tell you much about it, right? They don't give you a lot of details. Okay, so you've got to understand they may be all leads. Uh, they may be leads that they're just left in the dust you know, no life in it. And all of a sudden, they're just going to give them to you. Uh, it may be the wrong people. All right. It may be the wrong people. They're maybe just not interested in what you have to offer, but yet you bought them. Okay. So you're going to have to be careful with all this advertising out there about buy leads, buy leads, and you'll be, you know, successful online. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Now, you will also come across something else called solo ads since we're in the subject about buying leads. Solo ads, what that is, is you're practically buying uh, advertising and using somebody else's list, email list. Okay, so that person or that company they that you pay, they're going to take your sales page or sales copy or sales email letter, and they're going to send it to their list. And you are hoping that someone bites and comes to your list, right? Joins your subscription uh, opt-in list and then they buy. Well, again, that's another, boy, you're playing a lot of, a lot of lotto, a lot of lotto. 
<laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> you're playing a lot, you know, you're gambling a lot, right? Okay, you got to stop doing that. Because unless, now now here here's how I feel about solo ads, by the way. I'm in between. Because unless you do your research, and I'm talking about solo ads, okay? You got to find out who you're buying from. You got to find out about their list. You got to find out how they being uh, engaging with their list. Uh, you got to find out what type of information or services or products their list buys. You got to also find out how old is their list. All right. Uh, also, you got to find out what this person or company are doing. You know, are, are they legit? Are they a good company? What are their ratings? Can you trust them? You got to do your research. Okay. And of course, of course, you got to know what niche they're in. I mean, right? If it doesn't fit yours, I mean, you're just going to be wasting time and money. So you got to put a lot of effort into it. And if you do all that, you still are gambling. You still are hoping that someone bites, but at least you've done the research before that, before your investment, and your chances may increase a little bit more. Now, I have known personally people who have bought solo ads and they have gotten 100% on their return. Okay. But again, that's really rare. And plus you're going to have to invest five or 10 grand just to do that. You have to get a good, good quality list. So again, I'm telling you, you're going to end up as an affiliate marketer, finding out all these extra ways or new ways, or they're not new, they're old, you know, solo ads, uh, buying leads. Uh, don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. And what you're going to do, because I'm sure you're asking now, okay, Eddie, got the point. What is the point? What do you want me to do now? I want you to work for your list. I want you to understand your niche, understand your market, how to engage with them. What's your approach? How, where are they? And what are you going to do for them? What value can you offer them and do it? Because friends, that's the only way you're going to actually succeed in your business. You, you have to come with, from a place of helping others and helping them enough or helping them like really good and enough so that you can gain their trust so that they will like you. And therefore a result from those two things, trusting and liking you, they're going to now buy from you. Whatever it is that you're selling, whatever your company or your program system or your commission system, whatever it is that you're doing, it never fails. Okay? So, as a matter of fact, thinking about it, you know, if you even were thinking about spending money in buying leads or buying solo ads, if you're going to still spend the money, I would tell you, spend it in Facebook ads. Hey, even if you don't know anything about Facebook ad, if you put a Facebook ad out there and you get information because you do get stats, right? You get demographics and psychographics of practically your ad. You're going to get, that's valuable information. Okay. Even if you don't get a hundred percent money back or a hundred percent return on your money invested in ads, you're getting quality information and that information you can use to target better or to understand better your market. You see? So that's money well spent. All right? So there's no rich, get rich quick thing out there. There's no buy leads and make a million dollars next year or next month. Okay? You got to be cautious about that. So that's what I have for you today. And I'm, I'm so glad that you stay here with me because there you go. Subscribe to my channel. And here is actually... This is something that I just actually did a video on, edisand.com, find buyers. Um, I feel that if you haven't downloaded that yet, it's a, it's a free report that I created, basically covering some of the strategies that you should be focusing on to get more leads or to get better leads, quality leads. Uh, and the way you do it is by doing three strategies that I put in that uh, report. So go ahead and download that too. And you can visit that site and download it. But uh, yeah, you know, you're here, you listen to me, subscribe, uh, share. If you think this is a good uh, information that I just shared with you, give me a like and I will talk to you later.
Peace.